And Al, what has this break got in common with the EastEnders? Oh, God. Go on. It hasn't got dot in it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> hey, folks, here in the workshop. Alex Rafferty from SRAM. Shad from Thursday Night Fight Club. Because Al has got a box of ultimate power. <laughs> For a <Kestman. laughs> It's the new Maven break, mate, isn't it? It is. New Maven break, SRAM's most powerful break to date. The absolute most powerful break we've ever made. Ow. Usable power for efficiency and tunability. Extreme power of elevated speed and control on ever more demanding terrain. Maven gives you the power to progress. The boundless got power of confidence. The power of more endurance and less fatigue, letting you leverage subtlety and consistency to open the aperture of your abilities. Maven, new powers to go ahead. Your home may be at risk if you pull the levers too hard. I mean, I don't even need to do this, do I? <laughs> <laughs> right, let's crack the box open, get it on a bike, and get testing. Right. Good luck. So this is a Maven aftermarket kit. So this is a complete kit that we can uh, that'll be available to purchase beyond embargo. So front and rear brake in there. All the I mean, this has to be one of the bougiest aftermarket brake kits. It's pretty fancy, going. Yeah. I yeah. mean, we've done some sick flight case stuff in the past for us little princesses who did our names on levers and stuff like this. But this is like this is what people will get. But this if they is, want it. This is exactly yeah. as it'll come if you want it like this. Yeah, yeah, for nice. sure. Mate, why would you not want it like well, that? Well, yeah, and the idea is like you get everything in this box to fit the brakes and tune the brakes. You know, with these brakes being 50% more powerful than the current code brake, um, you know, that power comes with a lot of responsibility. Yeah. By that, I mean you have to tune. You want to tune yeah. the brakes. So is the there a seatbelt in there as well? Not seatbelt, but there is a bleed kit guy. That's, that's probably that's similar. So, I know so, I'm not even sure what one of those is. But the but, you beauty know. of it is that you know obviously a bleed kit, so you can get the brakes installed, but then also different size rotors, so 200. Well, let's crack them out, mate. Because there's a really rotors, sweet up, rotor pack in up. there. It's okay, nice. So you got the top layer in there. With top the layer. There's your brakes. And I pull this open. Look at those. I mean, look at the size of the calipers on that. I mean, so that looks like similar to an oversized code. You've got. It's stealth leverage, sorry, stealth hose routing on it, OVS. Got a nice little machine section on the front there. Beautiful. Uh, Beautiful. Bearings. Bearings on the levers. I mean, the presumably this is an ultimate set, yeah. This is ultimate, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and there'll this be different the, this levels. This is the ultimate expert kit. Yeah, so the ultimate expert. That's why you're only, fitting it, not me. Exactly. This is, yeah, <laughs> this is the only break that comes with the red expert caliper, the ultimate break. Nice. Because uh, you used same. to get code like that, didn't you? Wave, or was that just a black box thing? Got black box dates. Oh, here. that was uh, yeah, that was a black box special yeah. edition. You, you did, those. you did get a set. I of had those. Those. Yeah, yeah. Set of those. yeah, I'm very kind. I know. Yeah. And then those are the monster calipers. Yeah. So I mean, this kind of like it harked right back to like proper old monster breaks, like Hope Tie Six and Nagura Gustav, when it's just like power. Yeah. So it's good to see, but people are just power. going faster. On heavier bikes, I think and that's the just key. pushing it. The terrain, you know, the bikes, everything. E bikes are heavier. You know, downhill's still downhill. Fastest riders out there. But the idea is, yes, you can increase power, and having fifty percent more power is one thing. But the tunability is key, and and being able to brake with less force. Yeah, so you, you know, don't finish your long speed, run less, yeah, with your arms control, exploding. Exactly. Yeah. So you know, it's about having that. You know, if we can increase that power. We could also potentially reduce the rotor size. Yeah, um, so I'd probably need 140. Choose between, we're going to ask more, <laughs> choose between your pad compounds. Yeah. Uh, so you can really tune these brakes to get, whilst you're getting maximum power, you've still got that SRAM lever feel and modulation and control as well, yeah. which is key. Um, but yeah, so we're looking at the rest of the kit. So top level is the brakes. And then in here, as I say, you're going to get everything you need. So first off, you get this pretty rotor cool, bag. pretty cool rotor bag, which is going to have two 200 rotors. A 220 rotor, so the biggest size you do, and then also a 180, so we can kind of like mix them up front and rear. Does that 220 come with like a parental advisory sticker on it? It comes with a little tag on the side of it that says, yes. yeah, athlete only. <laughs> <laughs> How do they check? <laughs> right, so, yeah, so in there, they're, they're in there, and there are our HS2, HS2 most recent yeah, rotors. Exactly, yeah, 15% yeah, so more power anyway off those, correct? That's 7% more power, we say. Yeah, I was using ones, two. Yeah. 2%. We can say two no, percent. I was using two, so it would be almost 15%. <laughs> oh, it's not sorry, that I got, got it wrong. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you. Um, okay, and then under here, then, 
So this is a baby where, bike shop, isn't it? It's a baby bike shop. So all the fun happens. So we got a set. The brake comes. <laughs> I love itself. that you think like postman <laughs> adapters is where the fun happens. <laughs> Possibly doing this a little yeah, too long, I mean, getting a little been, too invested in for, the role. I've been here for a while. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the brakes themselves come with an organic compound pad. Yeah, and, and we're we're a big believer in those. They're like they. I would recommend because most like, of the people don't ride in the UK. Well, you know, we say that like organic pads going to give you a little bit more bite um, and you know solid power, whereas a, a sintered pad is usually a little bit less noise and works better in kind of wet, muddy conditions. Yeah. So kind of for the UK, is like yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, but not. I'm not saying like go out there and stick those sintered ones straight in. Try your preference. Like we yeah. believe strongly in that organic pad is a really good pad compound. Yeah. So try it out. But uh, yeah, so there's a set of a set of sintered pads there. There's the a new post mount bracket, which is just great new alignment, better kind of fitment than than our previous generation. So yeah, but it's a post mount ultimately. A mineral oil brake kit <gasps> because you've only done mineral oil previously on the DB8. That is correct. Which yeah. is a bit of a bit of an unsung hero. It's a great. It's break. a really yeah. really good brake, but you only ever see it on bikes that people who probably think about maven have never even seen probably because it's like it's like your entry level break but it's a real it's a real sleeper yeah it's a bit of a showstopper it's a great break it's nice like that code hey eh? it's like that code power but with mineral oil now yeah. mineral oil has some some pretty solid advantages it's it reduced maintenance is one of the big ones um but we've been able with the developments on the engineering side of getting the right seals and materials inside of the brakes we've been able to get the benefits that we were previously only able to gain from a dot fluid brake in a mineral oil brake now so we've got that high performance and also that really good maintenance serviceability yeah, yeah. whilst using mineral yeah sick and a bit less corrosive bit more eco-friendly a bit more paint friendly a bit more capable of filling it with olive oil if you're really, really in a fix in the Alps. Though, obviously, I wouldn't advise that. And please don't sue me. Uh, none of that I approve of. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, low Yo, you'd be extra low virgin low olive oil, obviously. Still, yeah, low maintenance while still maintaining like really yeah, high yeah, performance. Yeah. That's the key, for yeah. sure. Okay. Yeah. Right, sick. All right. Shad, yep. let's wheel the patient in. So you're coming off codes, aren't you? Yes. So it's going to be a fair test. We've got a heckler. And uh, right, so better stick the... Uh... Should be two of us. It's an e-bike, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't put your back out, mate. Oh, no. Was that your back or was that a stand? Was, uh, the creak was my back, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my elbow is the squeak. <laughs> we go. Right, right. so uh, obviously I'm just going to swan about being media darling while Al puts the brakes on. I should go and have a coffee, shall why not? Should we put the stove on for him? Yeah. Or should we let him freeze? Cheers, guys. Yeah, I appreciate that. That's really yeah. good. And one little Easter egg is that there's a new, like, extra thorough bleed process on this, isn't there, Al? There is, yeah. And the interesting thing is you actually previewed this as an instructional musical song. Oh, God. On the, al on the uh, new Too Rough album from popular beat combo, Chasing Status. Oh, I can see where this is going. <laughs> exactly. Because you, you know what this is. What's you, what are you calling it? What are you calling it, Al? Oh, I'm going to let you do that. It's called Pad Advance, Pad Advance, Pad Advance. If you want a maven to, to really work, you got to do Pad Advance. <laughs> is that correct? I mean, yeah, that, that's it. Yeah, good. There's just a, there's an extra little couple of steps in the bleed process, but still the simple sort of bleeding edge process that we're used to on strand brakes uh, and then we do a, a pad advance after this bleed process just to make sure you get the best possible lever feel uh, and consistency so and al what has this break got in common with these standards oh, go on hasn't got a dot in it anymore <laughs> 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 Sorry, I just thought of that. No, I shouldn't have laughed at that. <laughs> God bless you, June. You're a legend. Bye. We done. And we kind of done the little dot chat previously, but basically, Al, do you want to talk to us about it again? How you beautifully backlit? <sighs> yeah, we can see the. Uh, this is bleeding edge bleeding system that we're familiar with from strand brakes, but as you can see, and that see, means it's... it bleeds from the back of the caliper, so you're getting that push through all through the caliper no hidden pockets of that evil air 
just this lovely connection system as well. Yeah, so super easy bleed process. We've added a couple of extra simple steps in the process and also pad advance just to make sure you get... Pad advance, pad advance, pad advance. Oh, God. <laughs> it's a good tune, mate. It is a good tune. Um, but so, uh, yeah, that, that a couple of extra steps in the bleed process. So yeah, please check the manual and make sure you follow that one. Um, and then a pad advance, which is just going to give you the best advance, possible advance. <laughs> lever feel. <laughs> exactly that. Sweet. All the strand performance, mm. but with easier maintenance. That's it. Performance and maintenance. Exactly, mate. <laughs> okay, so we've bred, we've bled the brakes. The next step is to do a pad advance. Many ways to skin a cat, but the way we're going to do it on this particular occasion, we've put the pads back in after the bleed process. Uh, <laughs> we're going to pull the brake lever until the pads come to contact, and then we're going to use a um, specific tool for this pad, like a pad separating tool to push them carefully back in, being mindful of not damaging the pads on the. Uh, <laughs> Pad advance. Pad advance. Pad advance. I knew you'd get there in the end, Al. I knew I'd break you. Yeah. Sweet. So essentially, you're pushing the pads out and then pressing them back in. So what? Why? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? So think of it as a a massage for the pistons. That's the way I put it. So just cycling those pistons in until the pads come in contact and then pushing them back, put them in until they come in contact, yeah. put them back again. It's just gonna getting the getting the um, the quad rings that is what wraps around the pistons, properly kind of lubricated kind of yeah. and, 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 and 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 just that's gonna translate to basically better lead. And how many pistons are there in this? There are four pistons in this break. So uh, it's essentially four piston four play. <laughs> we can go there if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Later. Did I tell you yeah. about my OnlyFans channel? Oh gosh, I'm sure you have. There's uh, there's four pistons. There's 18 millimeter and 19.5 millimeter pistons. Sweet. Thank you. And Al would also like to point out that his athleisure wear is actually Velocio Merino for the discerning mountain bikers. Beautiful. <laughs> so Maven, person of expertise, authority and power, correct? That is a direct translation, yeah. Yeah, it's right. so a bit mangled, but anyway. <laughs> and you've got money bike shads. Yeah. Exciting times. Looking forward to this. Ready for the powers. Ready for the power. Yeah. Looking good, feeling good. Said it feels good. I'm excited for you. It's gonna be good. Sweet. Right, brakes are on. Obviously, stay tuned for full test. Once well, Shads and I have uh, put some time into them. And yeah, massive thanks to Al for coming over. Always a pleasure. Fitting the brakes. Always a, always a chore as well. That's not, true. That's not true. I'm, yeah. just, I'm just here for the band, so I wish you could get all of it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be honest, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to start doing this, more of it, to be honest, until be, I get cancelled. This is a highly edited version with, like, you know, just the... Not too bad. I think, I think <laughs> we might keep Dot Cotton. <laughs> that, that can stay. Yeah. That was, Bless that, it. that was a toned down version of that joke. So that <laughs> yeah, true, to be <laughs> fair. Yeah. Yeah. Ad libbing is the way forward, I reckon, because hell, I can't read from the script. Anyway, much thanks to Al. Thanks to Shads. Thanks to Shads' bike for being a grateful host to the new Mavens. Thanks to Dog Crew for chilling out with us. And uh, yeah, thanks to you guys for watching. Thanks to my Patreon subscribers. Click subscribe, click for notification, give it a thumbs up, like, tell your mates, and. Tune in for the next episode of Guy Kestevern and his pals do things with mountain cycles. Mountain cycles. Laters. <laughs>